Hello everyone, I want to share with you today a simple technique that is extremely helpful in many times when I'm facing a challenge and I need really to address a problem, but I really do not know what kind of measure can I take to solve that problem. And this is called the five whys. Let's understand what is the five why. The first step of the five why is to prepare a team. You should never do the five why by yourself. It's great to have inputs and have understanding from other people about your problem. Then with the team, you will assemble a problem statement, a problem statement. You will describe what is your problem. After that, you will ask why this problem exists. After that, you will go again and ask why this why? And then you go this up to five times. And then it's expected that from this, you will come to something that is more concrete for you to answer. And then you will propose a counter measure. The best way to explain this, let's take an example. You assemble your team and you want to discuss why people are not filling the risks in the risk register. Just a very simple thing. And then you say, why people are not filling the risk register. And then the first why it's, it's taking a lot of time to access the risk system. And then you ask, why is it taking a lot of time to access the risk system? Oh, because the service is overloaded, means there is a lot of access and the service is not suitable for this amount of access. And then you ask, why this service is not, is not tolerating this load of information? Then I say, oh, because the system was supposed to be set up for smaller groups and we are using hundreds of them. Then you come to a point where you can start to guess what kind of countermeasure. I have, for example, two measures. I can reduce the universe of that system because if it's not supposed to work with hundreds, so I need to scale down the system. This is a possible measure. Another countermeasure. I need to replace the system or I need to increase the capability of the system. Did you see, you don't need to arrive on five whys, but it's believed that with five whys, you have a clear understanding of your problem and your challenge. And this is something very simple. Most of the time, what do we want? We want to speed up the process and we want to have the problem and say people are not filling the risk register. And then you say, oh, we need to train them. And then people say, no, it's not a matter of training. Because what happened? Because you didn't ask these whys, you are taking a countermeasure that does not address this root cause of your problem. This is why you should use, and you can use this for anything. Why people are not doing the daily scrum. What the client is not using that feature of the software just developed. Why people are not buying in my store this kind of product. And then you start going down. And why you need to have a team? Because many times on this why, 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 you will face a cognitive bias. And then maybe you already have in your mind, oh, it's because of training. And you, you already come 
up with the answer you want to hear. And then you ask why is just to justify that. This is why you should use a team. And most of the time, you should use a diverse team. One final topic I want to share with you also on this topic is that many times what happens when you have a problem, there is no a single why. For example, when I ask why, for example, I'm having a problem that people are not filling the risk register. And then you may come not with one answer like this one, but you may come with two answers. And then for the new why, you need to go down why, why. And for each branch of this, it's like a tree. For each branch where an answer to a why, it's more than two options. The new option, you need to explore further five times, further five times. And then at the end, of course, when this becomes a little bit bigger, it will happen something like that. You have a problem, then you have two Y's, then you have two, and then one, 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 and this becomes really big. What I suggest, if for each Y there are so many answers, maybe five Y's is not the best tool for you to solve. Then you should use Thmea, uh, uh, root cause analysis and other tools. This one is supposed to address in a simple and direct way. This is something that you do in a group and in a couple of minutes you go from a problem to a solution and then you can act on that solution. When things start to become very cumbersome with three reasons, three reasons, imagine this tree will become very big and it will become very challenging for you. What I want to offer you in the link at the description, you can go and download a quick cheat sheet explaining how to make the best use of the five whys in your project environment. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I have plenty of videos around project management and strategy implementation available for you here.